Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mass Effect 3. So, um, I am back here again. What am I doing here? Well, let us check the terminal and see what messages we have. Ah, from Arya to Loke. Subject, it's time. Shepard, I'm ready to discuss that pet project I mentioned when we spoke in Purgatory. Come to Dock 42 on the Citadel. A veteran named Bray will be waiting. So yes, it is now finally time to do the Omega DLC. I know for a lot of you guys, you've probably already seen this. This is not new. It's been out for quite a while. Um, but I finally managed to get around to do this. Um, also, one new thing I'm going to do is... I, I originally thought I was going to do this for... Um, which am I called? Originally, I was going to do this for... At the beginning of all my videos, state the date. But I didn't... It doesn't... To me, it doesn't feel natural. doesn't... Sm it doesn't it I think it messes up my introduction a little bit so I'm actually what I am going to do is I'll put a date as to when this is recorded just so you guys know how long it takes for me to record as I was saying I had to turn down my volume on my headset but just to show you guys you know what I mean by how long it takes me to record or how long is the difference in recording between upload time and whatnot so let's go to doc 42 and let us see what Arya Talok has in store for me Are you Bray? Uh, the great Commander Shepard. <laughs> and me without my autograph book. Say it. Just take me to Arya. Follow me. So where is she? Shepard. Aria, how dramatic. There are too many eyes and ears in Purgatory. I assume this is about retaking Omega? This is about your war, Shepard. Cerberus controlling the Terminus system seriously bolsters their mobility. Since taking Omega, they've spread through the galaxy. Surely the Alliance has noticed. Cut to the chase. What's your plan? Kick them out. I've amassed a fleet of Merc ships. We're going to punch through enemy lines and invade. Once we're on Omega, it's a ground war. That's why I want you. I only accept the best. The leader of the Cerberus occupation is General Oleg Petrovsky. He's the one who ousted me. Don't know him. The elusive man's top military strategist and best kept secret. But all you really need to know is that he's a merciless bastard. What's your intel on the occupation? Petrovsky's army is massive and he's got Omega locked tight. The information stops there. So you're winging it? Not at all. There are secrets on Omega only I know. Secrets that will provide us a foothold. I can tell you this Petrovsky's invasion was precise and ruthless. He'll stop at nothing to win. He's about to meet his match. That kind of talk goes a long way with me. When Omega is mine again, I'll give you everything. I've got ships, Mercs, Ezo, all yours for the war. What's the catch? I have objections to some of the company you keep. So you'll have to leave the Normandy and its crew behind. My crew are professionals. Let's just say, I want you all to myself. Bray will provide coordinates to my fleet. Oh, and while we're still in the Citadel, please be discreet. The fleet is hidden in this system. Signal me when you're on your way. Ari and I will meet you on the command ship. <laughs> Can't wait to see what all the fuss is about.
Yeah, don't worry, asshole. I will show you what all the fuss is about. Anyway, I completely forgot what I was even using. Holy shit. What am I doing here? What is all this? Cryo- Why the hell am I using cryo ammo? Oh my god. Oh, I don't know how to play this game anymore. I don't have warp ammo or anything like that. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Let me cre- 380,000 credits, huh? Okay, what I'm gonna do, because that- Oh, that kind of aggravates me now. I'm gonna respec all of my powers, actually, so... I'm gonna do all that, and we will right be right back here once I take care of all that. Alright, we're back. So, what I have done, as you can see right here, I have upgraded the particle rifle really for no reason. I was thinking about u using it, but instead I'm opting... Well, you'll see when we get started. Uh, I've actually opted for the uh, N7 Hurricane because I didn't feel like paying money for the rest of the DLCs. So, what I did was... Um, I gave myself warp ammo, I respect all of this stuff. I'm not taking the time to show you guys all this. Pretty much kind of doing what I do for multiplayer in regards to the Nova and Biotic Charge. So I'm not going to bother you guys with that. Also, I think I changed my, uh, what else? Oh, I changed my casual wear, as you saw. And I changed, as you will soon see, I've changed my armor back to what it used to be. So now let us head up to Arya's fleet. Alright, so, alright, before I guess we do that, now you can see what I mean here, I'm rocking the N7 Hurricane. I will rock you like a hurricane, as the Scorpions have done before me. And then, see here, Arya? No, we're not using that gun. Since it really doesn't matter, uh... Well, I guess I'll give you this. I'm pretty sure none of this also, none of this matters, so I'll just do that. So, Hurricane for you, and what do I have? Do I have the... Uh, I do have a claymore. All right, and I don't think weight means anything to you, my dear. So, yeah, whatever. Have fun. All right, now what does she have? In See, so yeah, I'm, ro I'm rocking blood dragon armor now, the old dragon age armor because it has the boost to shield and uh, power damage. Flare reeve. All right, now as I said in a previous video, 24 seconds. Good grief that I have seen a playthrough of this, but I'm not, um, I don't know what to do here. Eh, more damage. Huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, I can actually in detonate, but God, going from 24 seconds to 19 and a third doesn't really mean much to me, so whatever. And, okay. We'll try that setup. Hopefully it'll be okay, I, I guess. But um, I've already seen a playthrough of this, so I kind of, I'm not surprised by what's about to happen. But I will also say that it has been long enough to where I do not remember all the specific details. Um, so yeah, just letting you guys know about that. Because I don't want to keep you guys biotic boss. Huh? I just don't want you guys to be kind of, you know. Wondering how is it? Oh, how is it that I know how to do everything or how do I know how to do this? No, it's just because I simply Have already seen it. That's why Okay, I'll take that Hmm. All right lash. I don't really give a shit about the rest of this. Actually, you know, what? we'll just do this There we go. Good enough All right 990, huh? They're not too bad. All right, then I guess we should go ahead and get started We're out shipped four to one and most of our vessels are transports with limited firepower we're not here to win a space battle, Jarl. We just have to punch through their line. So you've commandeered a Cerberus cruiser. The guest of honor has arrived. We can finally start. Let me guess. You're planning on infiltrating the enemy fleet. Exactly. We position ourselves to strike a crippling blow, then my forces join the fun. Works for me. If you're as accommodating the rest of the way, we'll get along very well. Then let's quit talking and get to it. Bray, move through the relay. Signal the fleet to wait. They only follow on my command. Head for the command ship. Three 
Bowser. I don't have you on the flight plan. Identify yourself. This is Captain Lance. Run voice recognition. Alpha Tango Z. We took damage. Seeking repairs. Identity confirmed, Captain. Pulled for approach authorization. How did you get the captain to say that? The hard way. That's right. Nice and slow. Be patient. Get as close as you can. Fire! We're through. Head straight for the station. We're being hailed by the general. Should be interesting. Put him through. Aria, I knew this had to be you. You'll never make it. Call it off now. You're barking up the wrong tree, General. But maybe you can convince my partner. Commander Shepard, I've heard great things about you. I doubt the elusive man thinks of me that highly. I do my own research, Commander. A pity you left, Cerberus. We all sabotage ourselves in nefarious ways. Perhaps deep down you fear success. And Arya clearly thinks seeing you will unsettle me. Now it's my turn. I see you've gone to the trouble of augmenting that ship with Solaris armoring. An exorbitant waste. I've made improvements to Omega's outer defenses. My cannons will cut through you at will. He sounds pretty confident. Yeah, he does. So again, I say turn back. Let's see what you've got, Oleg. End transmission. That went well. Set preset course. We're ramming the station. Everyone brace for impact. What? Omega's kinetic barrier will stop my ships from landing. I equipped this cruiser with disruptors to take it out on impact. Don't worry. We'll probably survive the crash. Shield's gone! All systems failing! We can make it! Aria, don't be stupid. Sound the evac. Damn it! Program escape pods for the station. Let's go! Everyone out! There's no time! Guess that asshole really did upgrade Omega's outer defenses. So it would seem. The other escape pods made it. All right, what's our target? Need to hit the defense system station. Shut down Omega's outer defenses so my ships can land. If we don't, they'll be blown to bits like we were. Got it. Makes sense. We play to our strengths. I know where we need to go, and you can get us there. Okay, let's move. I'm back. 
Alright, so let's see if I remember how to play this. Uh, hmm. I'll probably Nova... No. How do I set powers? Oh, yeah, square. Okay. <laughs> so it's been a little while since I've had to do it like this. Okay, and then... Let's see. Wait, where's that one? Is that it? That flare? Okay. I will... Map power. What? 